The following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and or themes that are not for people under the age of 13. Love entertainment. Love news. Love randomness. This is Galaxy. The following program is rated 13. Here we go! Serving the universe! Surprise. We're already in the middle of August, and on tonight's episode there's gonna be a lot of interesting stuff, so stay tuned. And now, the show that provides entertainment for all viewers to kick off the weekend with your hosts, Chloe, Alex, Scarlett, Sam, Mackenzie, and Norman. This is Newly Cast on Crazy Tootie Radio, a part of G4P's Galaxy Radio. You are now listening to Galaxy Radio. Good evening everyone, on tonight's episode, we're going to start off with showcasing the highlights of this year's new Ruffle City Olympics. During this year's event, we encounter Diamond City resident Ninevolt, who did amazing at skateboarding. We apologise, we very clearly just accidentally showed the wrong clips. <laughs> Take two! During this year's event, we encountered Diamond City resident Ninevolt who did amazing at skateboarding. Considering he had a few trip ups, he at least bounced back by remembering the scene, dust yourself off and try again. And that shows you can never give up on what you enjoy the most. Especially if it involves sports. Also, it wasn't just Ninevolt that was involved in the event of this year's new Ruffle Cities Olympics. Orbulon and Dr. Krygor were also participating in this year's event, which focuses on jumping over obstacles. This is also known as hurdling. I wonder what medals they received for that game. From what I have heard, Dr. Krygor won a gold medal, while Orbulon won a silver medal. About the other person who you couldn't see in this footage, we'll show you in this picture. Rebecca Dennis, who also participated in hurdling one third place. Did you know this was also her first time participating in New Ruffle City's Olympics at the age of 21? Wow, that's amazing. Mm hmm And I almost forgot to mention, 9Volt eventually won a gold medal in... when it came to skateboarding, just a few days before the event concluded on August 11th. We now go to Alex for our video updates. Thank you. Now that the latest Microgamers episode has been released, we are hopefully planning to get MM Bloopers Episode 7 sorted out very soon. However, there is not much video updates tonight. And we now go to Harvey Zilth for the Tootieverse news. Thank you, Alex. Unfortunately, there has been a few ups and downs with most stories I've heard in the past week. As many of you are aware, former YouTube CEO Susan Washtiki sadly died last week at the age of 56. According to her husband, in a statement on Facebook, she passed away after a two-year battle with non-small cell lung cancer, which is often diagnosed late. In other news, it has been a sad week for English Pokemon fans. Rachel Lewis, who was well known for voicing Misty, Jesse and so on, passed away at the age of 55 on August 10th after a short battle with breast cancer. On Channel 41 tonight, we will showcase a marathon of English Pokemon episodes as a dedication to her. Now, where were we? Oh yes, as we slowly move on to the bright side of the news this week, we are expecting warm weather and possibly a heat wave in New Russell City at the end of this week, reaching up to 28 degrees Celsius, so be assured to have factor 50 sun protection with you in the coming days. Before we wrap up tonight's news, the summer season has come to an end for Norman's side of things, considering summer comes to an end in September. Thank you for watching tonight's Tootieverse news, and we will see you again in Season 4. Thank you, Mr. Zilf. 
And that's a wrap for tonight's episode. So we will see you all on next... Uh, actually, this is the season 3 finale, so we will be back in September. Same time as the rest of the G4P stuff. Cheerio. Galaxy Radio is part of G4P Studios, and all content belongs to their respective owners. All rights reserved.